today on Be Something Wonderful, taking imagining to the next level. It's not just your imagination. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had really uh, two interesting um, sessions yesterday from clients that wanted to call, wanted to talk to me, just to talk about what they've created, their heart's desire manifesting in their life. One of them was a, 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 a woman that, that felt that, that the love was lost in her marriage, that, that, that they, didn't, they weren't in love with each other anymore, or that, or that, um, that they seemed to be in a rut. And of course, we can never lose love. We are love. And so this is, this is really part of her realization. It's, is that, that that heart's desire is there. You just got to move to it. And the other was with this uh, young guy who, um, who wanted to start his own. He had the dream of wanting to start his own business. And he called me to talk about the launch of it. In both of, the, in both of these cases, the idea was, and, and, and as we talked about it, that you're imagining all the time. Everything, that the 3D reality right now, you're imagining. And, and the greatest illusion, the GOAT, <laughs> the greatest illusion of all time is, is the solidity and continuity of 3D reality. That's big. That's what we were really talking about today. And even on the channel, one of you subscribers had an amazing comment. And I want to read some of what she wrote and I want to add to it because it was so great because it's exactly what I was talking about with these two clients. And, and here was her comment. Once I honored my power as a creator more than my desired end, everything started, to f everything started flowing to me. I'm in love with my I am awareness more than anything. This is big, yes, it's, it's perfect. I just want to add to it. But the, even when we say once I honored my power as a creator more than my desired end, everything started flowing to me, we're saying that somehow that the desired end is separate from my power and that I need to get in my power before I can have it. I just want to add, because this is a terrific comment, I know what you meant but it implies a little bit of separation that your desired end is somehow less important or, or, need, or it isn't, you're not one with that desired end. I just wanna say the message is bigger than that, but yes, I love your message. Focusing on your desired end, hear this, because this is really what came out of those two sessions yesterday with these two clients that just wanted coaching sessions to talk about what they did. Focusing on your desired end is honoring your power. Hear this, focusing on your desired end without the attachment, right? Falling in love, that's what happened with these two clients. They fell in love with their desired end. They fell in love with their heart's desire, right? Focusing on your desired end, it's what this client was saying, this, this subscriber was saying, focusing on desired end is honoring your power. There is no separation. Focusing on your desired end is being in love with your I am awareness. There is no separation. It all happens at the same time, <laughs> right? Manifesting your heart's desire, hear this, is the human 3D experience of that divine experience. Wow. Hear that, of fulfillment. It, it manifesting your heart's desire is the human 3D experience of that divine experience that's already happening within you. It's the 3D experience of honoring your power and being in love with your I am, with your I amness. So let's let's hit this really big today. Neville got it. Imagination. No one talks about it better than Neville got it did. Let's talk about this. Neville got it says imagination is the power to perceive what is absent from your sen from the senses. Wow, so big. So big. It's the power to perceive. It's perceiving. Where though? Within. Not with your 3D senses, with your feeling and your knowing and your conviction and your inner authority. My awareness, this is what Neville also says, my awareness is God and all things are possible to him. Therefore, what I'm imagining will come to pass. Standing in that inner authority with God, all things are possible. 
right? With man, with the 3D you, it's impossible. My awareness, that imagination, that I am this, wow. Knowing your desire exists in your imagination, simply expect its fulfillment in your outer world. Neville got it. This is what these clients did. They simply expected it. It became their love. How can you not expect it when you're in love with it to have it and be it, embody it? It's, it's image alive in your imagination overwhelms you. Wow, Neville got it right here. It's image, the image of what? The image of your desired end. That focus on your desired end, not as a chore, not as something to get out of the way, not as something that you're focusing on to get or happen, you're embodying it. It's an image alive in your imagination and it overwhelms you. Overwhelms you with what? With love. Love for your heart's desire, the conviction, the knowing that it's yours. Wow. Wow. So let's keep hitting this. Both imagining your desires and perceiving your desires in 3D reality are real experiences within consciousness. We set those somehow apart. That imagining is separate and somehow less real than the 3D reality. But, you're, but, but when you're imagining, you're perceiving your desires. Imagining is perception. It's perception within. Do you hear this? The significance of what we're talking about today. Both imagining your desires and perceiving them, they're both perceiving them, in 3D reality are real experiences within consciousness. There's nothing unreal. There's only what's what, there's only what's real and what's manifested. It's all real, right? You judge the 3D experience as more real because of its perceived solidity and continuity. You judge it as more real, but they're both imagining, they're both perceptions. You're imagining all the time. That's why the, all the ancients said, judge not according to the appearances, according to appearances. John 17, 24, that's what it means. You judge the 3D appearance as more real more solid, more continuous because of its perceived continuity and solidity. But when you're imagining, you're perceiving your desires, you're perceiving them within, right? And, you're, and then you perceive them without as well. You can imagine it and desire it. it. If you can imagine it and desire it, it exists on some plane or some level of reality. I've talked about that before, but we're really gonna hit it big today. So, when you imagine, assume your desired or imagined end, you're shifting to a reality just as real, just as true, just as valid as the manifested 3D reality. You're perceiving a new reality. You're shifting to a new reality. You're not faking. You're not pretending. You're not making it up. You're perceiving it within. You're moving to that reality. You're, you, <laughs> Your 3D experience, the physical manifested reality, is just a tiny part of your experience of consciousness and in, in your, it's just a tiny part of your experience of consciousness as consciousness. Wow. I'm gonna read this again. Your 3D experience, that physical manifested reality, is just a tiny part, less than 0.1% of your experience of consciousness as consciousness. You are consciousness. The 3D, the universe, the 3D world and everything else happens or exists within consciousness or in other words, within you. Just pause there guys. You are consciousness. The 3D world, the universe, the, everything else happens or exists within, your, within consciousness. Within consciousness. In other words, within you because you are consciousness. Nothing exists outside of consciousness. So big. So when you say what's happening out there, when's it gonna happen, what's going on, guys, that keeps you fixed on that perceived reality, right? Instead, what's happening within you? That's the better question. What are you imagining? Because what, what are you imagining? What's happening within you is what's happening out there. That's the better question. Imagination creates reality. Neville got it was clear here. Imagining is Christ, which is God in action. I love this. Imagining is Christ, which is God in action. When you're focusing on your desired end, when you're in that desired end, that's God in action. You are God in action. 
I just want to really hit that. Attention and focus is your I am awareness. God in action is your imagination. So big. Let's continue with this. Big day today, guys. Imagining feels unreal to me. This is what one of you said. No longer. <laughs> no longer are you saying that. But you are imagining everything you see and perceive right now. Imagining may feel unreal to you. But what I, as I pointed out to these two clients and many others, you're imagining everything you see and perceive right now. It's all perception. And you just think this 3D is more real. This is what you think. You believe that tiny blue dot, do you see that, is your imagination. That's the dream or the unreal. And then you believe everything else 3D is 3D reality. Manifested physical world seems bigger. It seems more real. It seems more solid. Do you see that? But that's not really how it works. So you give most of your attention and focus to that and awareness to that 3D reality. And it makes it bigger. It makes your imagination seem small and unreal. Right? But really, what's the real reality? The ultimate reality is that's 3D reality. Do you see that? That's the 0.1% of the scene. It's not this, it's that. And the unseen is the 99.9%. .9%. That's where all the potential is. The key is to move your attention and focus within to the 99.9% .9 unseen, where your desired imagined end resides. Perceived within, that's how you feel. You can only feel and know this, right? But it's still perception. That's perception, that's perception. Right? Wow. So big. You don't see the 3D world as it is. You see it as you are. In other words, you see it or perceive it as you imagine it. You're imagining all of it. Right? You're imagining this video. <laughs> You're imagining all of it. You're imagining me. I'm imagining you. In each now moment, you're occupying a different version of yourself and assuming or imagining a new reality. Every moment, the continuity and solidity of time in 3D reality is the greatest illusion or magic trip of all, of all time. The illusion, the 3D world, that's the goat. That's the goat illusion, thinking that that's solid and real, right? It's the greatest of all time. That's taking imagining to the next level. It's not just your imagination. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. That's an open group. More and more of you are joining and sharing advice and guidance and insight and stories, and I love it. You can also follow us on our Instagram at Tom Karen, our Twitter at Tom Karen, or visit our website with all that information and more at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Until next time, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, creators, this is Tom. See you soon.